I've been studying the Moho animation software over the past few weeks, and I've finally learned enough to attempt my first 360 degree rig. Well, things didn't go the way I'd hoped, but I sure did learn a lot. In this video, I'm gonna talk about my goal for the project, the work involved, and the results. You may have seen from my other videos that I got really excited about multi-view rigs, which is Animate CC's answer to a true 360 degree rig. Because I've been using Animate CC for such a long time, I was able to use every trick in the book to connect the poses from a model sheet and bring them together into a poseable doll. But I can't forget to mention that none of that would have even been attempted or possible without the amazing plugin by Electric Dog, Flash Power Tools. Are Moho's 360 degree rigs better than Animate CC's multi-view rigs? Don't be too quick to answer. While there are some obvious advantages of a true 360 degree rig, I'm not so sure it's an open and shut case. With all that being said, my goal was to build out a 360 degree rig and I failed. Here's what I was able to get done. I had been studying the Moho animation software over the past few weeks and I finally felt confident enough to attempt my first 360 degree rig. I knew better than to commit to something that would have real production value, so I allowed myself room to experiment, try things out, and even get things wrong. There were a handful of features that I wanted to build into the rig, but I wasn't able to get around to some of them. There were a couple of really major insights that I learned from trial and error. Simplify bone influences. I began setting up bones for the character in the front view. Because I was excited about the elastic properties of the rig, I wanted the bones in the arm to influence the shoulder and the body just a little bit. Uh, well, a simpler and perhaps smarter approach would have been to make the bones in the arm only affect the arm. Because in different views, the influences of the bones would be obvious the three-quarter front and especially the profile view layers the arms directly on top of the other body parts of the character and things got confusing. Not even smart bones could save me here. The next major insight that I learned was to update the bone angles per view and not just the vertices. Smart bones are amazing. As I rotated the character to different views, I could update vertices to correct imperfections in the art and basically redraw the character to match the pose that I'm creating from view to view. Wow. However, more than just the art needed to change. The bone orientation needed to be updated when things like the toes or the strands of hair point in a different direction. Well, it wasn't something that was terribly hard to stay on top of, but by the time I realized this, a lot of little errors started piling up on me and I decided to call it for this project. Here are the results. In the end, my 360 degree rig wound up being a 180 degree rig. The accumulation of technical debt from little mistakes here and there was too much for me to want to fix, but I learned a ton of stuff from what I had built so far, and I'm excited to carry my insights into my next rigging experiment. I hope you saw something that was inspiring and helpful. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.